Today I want to present some information on activated protein C. First some uh, current science, a brief overview, and second a novel assay that has been developed by American Diagnostic at GmbH called Oligobind APC, it's product number ADG855. This is the first assay to, to measure the activity of activated protein C in blood samples. This is the background of APC generation and its role in blood coagulation. You have protein C in the blood flow. Protein C is activated in a kind of negative feedback loop by thrombin, factor 2A. Thrombin is bound by thrombomodulin and together with endothelial protein C receptor, uh, protein C and active thrombin are brought together. Thrombin cleavage converts protein C into activated protein C. Activated protein C then cleaves and inactivates factor 5A and factor 8A and for this inactivation reaction cofactor is needed protein S. So this is an important thrombin driven feedback loop to counteract coagulation. So here you see an overview on uh, the role of activated protein C during acute uh, infections and it was taken from publication by Lebos and colleagues in Nature Reviews Drug Discovery. This was when uh, the APC drug Xicris was uh, developed. Um, what it shows is that upon infection uh, the um, activated protein C does not only play a role in the thrombotic response as I already explained, uh, but it also plays a role in the inflammatory response by inhibition of cellular players in the inflammatory reaction and also certain molecules that play a pro-inflammatory uh, role. And finally it's also involved in the regulation of fibrinolysis and that was why APC became a target of uh, drug discovery. All these interactions of activated protein C are mediated by receptor ligand interactions and there was a review by Weiler, Hemostasiologie, in 2011 and in this uh, review article the different interactions of activated protein C are described and discussed. I mentioned the thrombomodulin interaction which is important for activation of protein C the interaction with endothelial protein C receptor and uh, this plays a role in uh, preserving the endothelial barrier function then um, is APC is able to activate the protease activated receptor interactions with endocrines are also known there are interactions with certain platelet surface molecules which are an important mediator of AP APC's interaction with uh, thrombocytes. Within the APC molecule the residues that mediate these interactions are mapped and known. So far there is no assay available that allows the functional quantification of active protein C in, in blood samples. American Diagnostic at GmbH has developed an assay which we call Oligobind APC, it's product number 855. It's an uptimer based assay for active protein C in blood samples. As I mentioned, it's the first assay to detect active protein C in blood samples. It allows real time measurement of active protein C. Here, a schematic overview on, on the setup of the assay. It's based on APC specific aptomers which bind activated protein C in a specific manner. APC. Then there is a fluorogenic APC substrate that allows quantification of the functional activity and of course the cleaved substrate. So this APC specific aptomer is bound to a solid phase. It's a 96 microtiter format. Um, APC in the sample is captured and then a fluorogenic APC substrate is added and this is converted to a fluorescent product that is then measured uh, in a uh, fluorometer. So in this slide you see a rep representative standard curve. It's uh, as I mentioned a 96 well microtiter blade. 
It is important that blood for determination of APC in this assay is collected with specific blood collection tubes that contains a reversible inhibitor that prevents inactivation of APC. And this reversible inhibitor is then washed away after binding of APC to the plate. So the tubes, the special blood collection tubes, have the product number ADG855T. The sample volume is 200 microliter. Duplicate analysis is recommended. The assay range is 0 to 50 nanogram per milliliter. The assay time, very convenient, less than six hours. And here, the, here are the order numbers again. And this then yields, here you see a standard curve as it is observed in this assay. Okay, this is the, the package insert that provides all the information. This is the summary. We have an assay available to measure active protein Z directly in blood samples. This allows to explore suspected APC generation in vivo in human samples. Special blood collection tubes are needed that can be obtained from American Diagnostic at GmbH. And the assay is for research use only. More information on APC science and on APC related products you can get on the website of American Diagnostic at GmbH. Also, we have a YouTube channel uh, where we post our our informative videos or you send us an email at info at mdiac.de call us by phone or send a fax and please do not hesitate to contact us and ask for more information american diagnosticus team is looking forward to help thank you very much for your interest and time